video proofing is a great way to collaborate with your teammates on any video projects you might be working on. When you use the proofing and approval add-on feature, you'll be able to add comments to any part of a frame at specific points in time in the video. I'll show you exactly how it works in a second. The first thing you need to do is attach your video to a task. Use the same paperclip icon you would use to attach other types of files. I can attach a file from my computer or add a YouTube link. Attach a file from your computer by clicking here. For example, I could select this video and attach it. But right now, I'm going to attach a video link from YouTube. Be sure to use videos that are set to public or unlisted. This will not work for private videos. Let me grab the URL I have saved here, and then I'll go back over to Attach Files, select From YouTube, and paste the URL into the box. Since I can see the thumbnail image, I can confirm it's the video I want to add. Then click Add Video. Perfect! Now my video is attached to my task and ready for review. I'll click the video icon to open it in the preview window. To leave feedback, open the comments panel with this icon down here. Then click play. Scan to the point in time where you have changes and add your comment. Let's jump a little further down to leave another comment. You can also at mention your team to ensure they receive an inbox notification. We'll see exactly what that looks like later. Right now, let's see what happens when we open each comment. You'll see little markers along the video timeline where I left my comments. If I click on one, I'm taken to that point in the video so I can read the comment. Another way to scrub the video for notes is from the comments panel over here. For example, if I click this comment, I'll be taken directly to the time marker for that comment. You can see the other comments here. Video comments work exactly the same as it does for image and document proofing. I can reply to a comment right here, or I can mark a comment as resolved. If I go back to this comment and mark it resolved, we see the marker went from pink to gray, just to let me know that everything's been taken care of. Now let's look at what the notification looks like from Ben's inbox. I'm logged in as Ben, so let's go into his inbox. There's the notification from Melanie. Clicking here opens the video and takes me directly to the time marker where the comment was left, and we can see exactly what she was referring to.